What's up, folks? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Matt here, and we have the second part of our Battle Bond double battle feature. I might try to upload these both in the same day. Maybe. We'll see. But if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment so you can get on the giveaways. And uh, without wasting a whole lot of time, let's just get into this. The last box ended up being okay. The uh, We ended up with a, uh, a lattice and a doubling season out of that one. Doubling season kind of kind of saved the box for us. So let's see if this one can carry us to the promised land of beef. I miss these old Somerset boxes where they're kind of divided and split like that. It's pretty, pretty neat. So these packs are, of course, have our pull tabs because they are Japanese print run. So they should have the, the better card stock. Let's get these things laid out. Six participants, six packs per piece. We count up the converted mana cost or mana value if you want to be uh, if you want to be new with the new terms. Uh, the mythics and the rares, counting the foil rares and mythics, of course, and whoever has the highest and lowest at the end of their six packs will get a bonus pack of Modern Horizons to Collector. Those things are starting to skyrocket, as along with Commander Legends collector boxes. Have you seen those things? Are they're touching $500 per collector box for a box of Commander Legends. And that's a, that's a hefty price for a box that's pretty much pound town most of the time. So let me see here. I think we're short a pack or something, or, or a few packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it is. I put too many people out there. So let me kind of shuffle this up again. See, I'm not always a professional, guys. Rarely a professional. Reshuffle these up and do six stacks. I went one too many. Like, this doesn't feel right. That's, uh, it's kind of talking and doing other things. You have to be good at multitasking, and, and at times I struggle to do that. Especially, uh, especially when I'm having to do math. The guys in the group always say it's mat math, because, uh, I'm counting it through a camera. And I don't know why it doesn't translate. But when you're, do when you're doing it through a camera, the numbers just don't add up sometimes. Don't beat me up too bad. This feels better. There we go. And I pre-randomized the spots. Starting us off will be Ryan, followed by Steven, Chris, then John, then Brian. And then in his first battle, Mario gets the coveted caboose. All right, now you've had to sit through two minutes of my rambling, so let's get started with what we all came for. The Battle Bond. Angelic Gift Foil and a Vigor. You know what? This was the first rare out of the last box as well. What a coincidence. And that's a nice little hit, actually. The card just keeps creeping up in value. Every time I check it, it's went up another dollar. So uh, we'll definitely take the Vigor. Pack number two. Zender Split and Okun. That's a beefy. 10 mana pack and our first partner pair. Of course, there's a couple uh, cards such as this one that hold a little value in the common and common slot in the set. Plus, it's full of uh, tons of good commander staples. Even though the set was designed for two headed giant, it translated directly to commander. Generous patron for three. Chain lightning, beefy uncommon there. Fox, rhino, golem. Let me write down to three, and we'll get to pack number four for Ryan. Warrior. Archon of Valor's Reach for six. Big Flyer, Kiss of the Amisha. Sears Lantern. Expedite. And this will be the last pack for Ryan before we move on to Steven. Still looking for our first partner land. Looking for our first mythic, and we get the 7-7 seven, seven Three mana guy that I can't pronounce. Angel of Retribution was originally a rare, I think, out of Torment. And that's pack five. Let's add up these totals. And we have 25, 28 so far for Ryan. Pretty, pretty good, man. Pretty good. We're going to move on to Steven now. See how we do. Forest. And we got the Goblin. Raised Runners, and that is a scary goblin. Usually goblins don't really, uh, don't really concern me, but these, 
these particular goblins creep me out. Pack two for Steven. Zombie token. Magmatic Force for eight. First uncommon partner pair, the Lay and the Lore Weaver. And I think this is the first set the, uh, the a new creature type as Azure was introduced. introduced. Uh, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong about that assumption. Beast token. And another partner pair, Regna and Croft. It's 11 pounds of beef there for Steven. Let's go. Let's go. Greater Good. I absolutely love Greater Good. One of my favorite cards of all time. I used to have a deck built with that. Glean Crawler. A few other, few other combo pieces. And you, you continued to recur the same creatures over and over again and drawing cards. It was like, it was a really, it was actually standard legal too for a while. Many, many years ago. And the last one standing. And the last one standing is a goblin with a sword. Millennial Gargoyle. Let's add this up. 12, 23, 27, 30 for Steven. Very nice. Chris, you're up to bat. Magus of the Candle Abra will be our first hit. You know, I've noticed that uh, doubling season is hard to hit, but, but I see less land tax come out of these than probably any of the other mythics. That's just my experience, so let's see if we can... Another partner pair, Korvath and Sylvia, followed up with a nice little swords. Peregrine Drake is always a superstar. Hopefully we can find a land tax, because uh, that's, a, that's a beefy mythic, right? And that's going to be six... Plus three makes it nine. Let me get my stacks right here. Pack number three. For Chris, still searching for, oh, it's just a tyrant's machine. And of course, Spirit Dancer. Lovely artwork on that. Really good card, too. Still looking for our first partner land, our first mythic. And we have to remember the foil rare and mythic multiplier is still really high in here. Um, so if you get one of the foil mythics or foil rares, depending on what it is, adds a ton of value. It's just not like a 0.5. Or, <laughs> there we go. Finally some beef. Archfiend of Despair for Chris. That guy is an absolute beast. Uh, every time I check this guy, he just keeps going up in value. So nice hit here for Chris, let's go. It's about time. Zombie Giant. Grow back to back mythics, and this is one of the weirdest ones. It's Grow Thama, the all devouring legendary worm. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the only legendary worm in existence, or it was for a while. So if you want to play, if you want to play worm tribal commander, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Growth Alma is your is your worm. Let's add up Chris's stack. Twenty five total. All right, John, you're up to bat. Definitely didn't see the Growth Alma coming. Definitely didn't see that one coming. Oh, back to back to back. Mythics. True name Nemesis. If you get this guy on foil, it's worth so much money. It's not even funny. Can't believe. How expensive true name is he's not as expensive as he used to be but uh still if you get get that in foil it's a super nice hit and that's three mythic hits in a row that doesn't happen very often and regna sanction for four the crowd goes wild because we pulled three mythics in a row dragon hatchling pack three for john it's a mer do you say Mer or Mir? Let me know in the comments. Sea of Clouds. There we go, baby. First partner land, a.k.a. command land. We will take it. We had a foil one of these the other night in the group, too. 
Looks so nice. Let me sleeve that up. Good job. Doesn't add to your beef total, but you're kind of shooting low right now anyway, so maybe that will work out for you. Warrior Forest and Angelic Chorus. I actually like this card. No complaints about Angelic Chorus. It does what it's supposed to do. And pack five. Here we go. Ah, it's another partner land, Spire Garden. We got a little uh, partner pair here, the Slinger and the Puppy Dog. So John snagged the Mythic and two of the partner lands. Nice little run of cards there. Still on the lookout for that Foil Mythic, that Foil Rare. Handful more Mythics here, so uh, you're at 12, John. Going low. Brian, you're up. Brian snuck in this at the very last minute. He uh, He's kind of kind of late seeing the notifications, but he got there and we just got Peer and Toothy. Probably my favorite pair in the, in the set. So uh, I think one of these, this is, I think together that's about $15 worth of rares, if I'm not mistaken. Last I looked. But magic cards are like stocks or cryptocurrencies. They change on a daily basis. Seven pounds of beef for Brian. Nice little hit there to start things off. And moving on to pack number two. Let's see if we can keep the heat going. And it's a Mind Blade Render. Opportunity for when you need to draw four cards as an instant. I feel like if you resolve an opportunity at the end of somebody's turn and draw four cards, you're pretty much set for the rest of the game. Because drawing an extra card is almost like taking an extra turn, right? Oh, it's the third land, and it's a luxury suite. This card is almost $30 now. Holy smokes, Brian. What a hit. Third land. If we can get a couple more solid Mythics out of this box, it's going to be a 10 out of a 10. Good, uh, good foil rare. That would really help, too. Let's keep the gas down. All gas, no brakes, Tide Spout Tyrant. This is one of those cards that you always think, ah, it's not that great, but it's worth a few bucks, and it keeps keeps creeping up. So uh, Tide Spout Tyrant for the win. And that's eight more. One more pack to go before we move on to Mario. Zombie? Forest? We did it. I said, let's get a land tax, and I'll be darned if we didn't get a land tax. Congratulations, Brian. I knew we could do it. You got the luxury suite. You got the land tax. Fantastic pulls for Brian. And if you if you pay close attention, some people would consider that a bit of a misprint because our hollow stamp is a little bit off-center. Depends on who you talk to. Total of 18 there. And Mario in the caboose. Pack one, good luck, new guy luck. Let's see what happens. We got Virtress's Maneuvers for three. Bathe in Dragonfire, that's something I would not want to do unless I was a Targaryen. Pack two. Forest and Corvass Fury. Decent little rare there. See, it's a little bit of play. Battle of the Rampart to finish out the pack. And Mind's Eye, solid rare. We'll take it. We'll definitely take the Mind's Eye. Fertile Ground and the Dragon Hatchling. I've noticed a lot of these packs have ended with the Dragon Hatchling. Look at me going too fast. Our foil rare is a newscraft mob, but that's not what I'm excited about. It's that Seedborn Muse behind it. Very nice hit. Mario, total of 11 out of that pack. The foil mob, the Seedborn. We'll take it. Let me double check, that's a six plus five. That is 11, at least in matte math it is. It may be in real math as well. 
And pack five for Mario is going to be a victory chimes. Is this going to signal Mario getting a victory when it comes to the last pack? We're going to find out. Three more spell snare, solid and common. And the sky gate. We add up Mario's total and we'll do a quick little recap. All right, so far we have Ryan at 28. We have Steven at 30, Chris at 25, John at 12, Brian at 18, and Mario at 27. Still anybody's game. We're going to track these last packs. Oh, if I can hold on to them. And we're going to see who takes home the bonus beef. So, Ryan, here we go. Sower of Temptation. Love this card. Look at that artwork. It's just gorgeous. Christopher, Christopher Miller. Of course, of course he did it. Always does some of the best art. Plus four, putting it at 32 total. Steven, up next. Still struggling with my voice a little bit. It is coming back. The video yesterday I really struggled through. So I appreciate you guys putting up with uh, with my scratchy voice for a couple days. Ah, new scrap mob. There for Steven, Beast Within. As your odds maker, two really good uncommons there. So six more. Putting it at 36 for Steven. Currently in the lead. Will anybody catch him? All right, Chris. Reckless Scholar Foil and a Mystic, Mystic Confluence. Solid. Solid rare there. This got reprinted in one of the recent sets as a uh, is either retro foil or etch foil, right? So that's going to bring Chris up to 30. Not quite enough to catch Steven. So, John, right now you're dwelling in the basement. You've got the low almost locked down. What will this do? Two more. That's going to give you the low spot with a 14 total. There we go. Let's write down the total so I don't forget. And Brian is up. Hoping for one more mythic here. Let's see if we can find it. And, oh, that's our fourth freaking partner land. The only one we're missing. Which one are we missing? We got the uh, we got the red and black. We've got the white and blue. We've got the red and green. We the only thing we're missing is Morphic Pool. Nice hit for Brian. Brian is the hamburglar in this battle because he's now got two partner lands. And a land tax. Holy smoke. But his total stays at 18. And Mario, you're at 27. The total to beat is 36. Unless you can double tap here. I don't think you're going to quite make it. Huddle up. And how could I forget about Spellseeker? Epic hit in the close. Don't know what it's worth now. That's probably a $20 or $30 card for the Spellseeker. So super... Super good hit here for Mario. It's not going to be enough to give him the high spot, but we're always happy to get a solid hit. In the close, it's going to give you 30 final totals. 32 for Ryan. Steven with a 36 in the high spot. Chris has got a 30. John with a 14 and a low. Brian with 18, and then Mario with a 30. So that means... Steven grabs a Modern Horizons pack. John grabs a Modern Horizons pack. And let's see if these things carry some beef. The last two were not that great. And that doesn't happen very often with Modern Horizons 2. We got the Ooze. Ignoble Hierarch. We'll take it. Not a bad hit. Scion of Draco. Etched. And last but not least, a Harmonic Prodigy. That's an okay pack. So, John, you're up now. Foil Butterfree. Let's go. Fun story. I've got a tattoo of him now. Territorial Cavu. General Ferris. Chatterstorm. Douthy Voidwalker Edge. This guy's so good. And an Ice Fang Codal Retro Foil. Not too bad. Not too bad. Some decent packs here. But uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, like I said, I may upload two of these battles in one day. We'll see. Or I may alternate days. Haven't made that decision yet, but I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I love your faces, and we'll catch you in the next one.